Once surgical packs have been prepared, they are ready to be sterilized in the autoclave. First, check that the reservoir contains an adequate amount of distilled water. If needed, fill up through the top opening on the autoclave. Next, ensure the red pointer in the pressure gauge has been turned back to zero, as it will not automatically reset. Load the autoclave according to capacity, being sure to leave space between packs to allow for steam penetration and circulation. Turn the knob to fill and watch the water until it reaches the designated line. Then immediately turn the knob to sterilize. Close and tighten the door bolt screw, ensuring it is snug but not over tight. Set the timer according to the manufacturer's instructions. The autoclave's first run of the day is considered a cold start and will need to be run longer than subsequent uses. It is important to keep checking the pressure gauge to confirm that the autoclave is maintaining pressure for the entire cycle. If not, sterilization will not be successful. Once the timer indicates cycle completion, turn the dial to exhaust and dry and let it sit until the pressure gauge has returned to zero. Open the autoclave and set the timer to 15 minutes, the time needed to allow the packs to dry. Never touch the packs while they are wet or place them on tables. The wet material will wick microorganisms from the immediate environment into the interior of the pack, thereby contaminating it. The autoclave indicator tape will change color, showing that the pack has been through the autoclave and can be stocked for use. It does not, however, confirm sterility. To do this, the surgeon should check whether the sterilization indicator strip, previously placed inside the pack, has adequately changed color before commencing surgery. <laughs>